what's going on everybody um we have officially made it back to florida um haven't really filmed anything along the way sorry i'm a little hoarse um but we did get to do a bunch of special trades a bunch of lucky trades we have had amazing shiny luck and this morning niantic dropped the halloween event update information and updates for the rest of october so what i'm going to do is show you guys a couple of the trades and then we'll do some updates and then at the end of the video we'll do some shiny evolutions now this first one comes from my boy Adam in California. He hooked me up with this trade. We went lucky friends like a week or so ago. I don't remember, but we finally got our lucky trade figured out and we'll hop right into it right here. And he is going to give me a shiny clef up because for some reason he had like seven of them. Don't know how, but I had a spare Charizard hat shiny Pikachu and he is a shiny collector of all costumes and forms. So he went ahead and threw me the shiny Cleffa for the guaranteed lucky trade. And we locked that down. I don't remember the IVs on it, but I will now have shiny Cleffa, Clefairy, and Clefable. So we'll do that evolution today. And then we've got another evolution to do with a shiny that I traded for and ended up getting two more of literally within like eight hours of each other. It was insane. But here comes the Cleffa. Let's go ahead and take a look at these IVs real quick. 365 is, that's not terrible, but it's lucky it'll be cheap to power up and that is what we're looking at. So there's the first trade. Now this next one, I have been trying to get forever. I hatched the baby shiny, but I couldn't hatch another baby shiny. And every event this has come out in the wild or in raids, I have done it over and over and over again. Could not get it, so I went ahead and traded for it. Let's go ahead and hop into this guaranteed lucky trade with my guy from Apple Valley that we went lucky friends with. And he is going to throw me something very special. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop him this big fat Dratini because he wanted a shiny high CP Dratini. So I'm gonna throw that over to him and wait for it. There it is. He is giving me shiny Sudowoodo. Now we needed a 1043. I'm gonna ruin it, it didn't come out a shiny lucky hundo, but it does come out very, very good CP and IVs. And I may max this out, I'm not gonna lie. Shiny Sudowoodo is one I've been looking for forever and I'm so glad we finally have it, but wait for it. There we go, send it over and let's, come on, let's do a 1035 CP IV check. 15, 14, 13, so that is a 93% shiny Sudowoodo and I'm probably gonna max it out. Not today, because I'm running low on dust, but I'm gonna max that out. Now, for the last one to show you guys in advance, this wasn't from a trade, this was a wild catch. We were leaving Atlanta, and I kid you not, pulling into Starbucks, wait for this, bam! That's a 290 CP shiny Vulpix. Now, the reason this is so crazy is we had just traded Miranda on Community Day, and I don't know how to throw. Dink, there we go. But I had just traded Miranda on Community Day for a second shiny Vulpix. We caught this one the following morning, but down it goes. But that's not even the little bit of craziness that we have, but we'll get into the rest of it at the end of the video. Let's hop into this update because it's honestly insane, and the Halloween and the Christmas events are my favorite every year, hands down, best events, and as much as Niantic can disappoint us, this one they did not disappoint on, so here it is. Halloween is frighteningly close. Get ready for some spooky shenanigans this year. Galarian Yamask makes its Pokemon Go debut in the new Halloween-themed special research and completing certain field research tasks that may lead to an encounter with Spirit Tomb, you might encounter a shiny one. Shiny Spirit Tomb is here, and thank you to Reese for the beautiful shiny edit. Shiny Spirit Tomb is absolutely amazing, and because you could only get one before, I know there's a lot of people out there that are looking for hundos and better IVs, and now you can get hundos, better IVs, and shiny of a beautiful shiny Pokemon. And that's gonna start on this Friday, October 23rd at 6 p.m. So they're starting it at night to go along with the Halloween theme. 
except for that's gonna be 9 p.m. where I am, so I'll probably hunt a little bit. I might do a night hunt, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know, but that goes until November 3rd at 6 p.m., and it's gonna be ghost type appearing more often in the wild, raids, and hatching from eggs. Here's the really cool one. I know Nick is gonna lose his mind over this one because he hates all of the costume and hat themed Pokemon, but we're getting a Gengar and a Sableye wearing costumes, and Sableye has a Litwick hat, and Gengar has this really funky haunted looking costume, and they both can be shiny, and that's really cool. So that's what's the biggest thing going on, but this one right here, because you guys know if you're OG, when Darkrai came back as shiny in Apple Valley, I didn't have the time, the time to do a lot of raids. I wasn't working on stuff as much as I am now, and I missed it, but Darkrai is coming back to raids, and I'm going to be power hunting shiny Darkrai. There's going to be Halloween-themed field research tasks, new avatar items, all sorts of stuff, and it shows... Uh, you can get a Pikachu mask, a Gengar onesie, Sableye goggles, Sableye mask, and a bayonet mask, which is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. And then there's apparently going to be a Creepy Crate, a Boo Bundle, and a Pumpkin Pack box in the shop with extra stuff. And they're going to be doing snapshots for Pokemon, which that's really cool. Then you're going to grab for the whole event two times transfer and catch candy. So I'm probably going to do because it's, what, a two-week event, which means I can probably do three or four Meltan boxes in there, because you can do them every three days. I might be doing those for two times catch and transfer candy. That is the best time to stock up on Meltan, if you can. So I'm probably going to do that on top of everything else. But there's also going to be three additional events with this. A Lolan Marowak Raid Day on Halloween, October 31st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., Alolan Marowak will be appearing more often in raids. Now, all of you know I have been chasing the shiny Alolan Marowak for I don't know how long now. Cannot get it. I tried at GoFest, I tried at GoFest Makeup Day. I've done more raids than I care to admit. No shiny Alolan Marowak yet, but we're going to get there. And then they're going to be Catch Mastery Ghost Day on Sunday, October 25th from 8 a.m to 10 p.m. local time, Ghost-type Pokemon will be appearing more often in the wild, and there will be event-exclusive timed research to complete, and there's gonna be more details for that, which let's go ahead and see what that says. Features will be Drifloon, obviously it's shiny, which I don't need, but it's a very pretty shiny. There's going to be the timed research, which will get you Mega Gengar energy, and during this event, you will earn XP for nice, great, excellent, and curveball throws. So, Lucky Egg, get some extra XP in there. That's pretty cool. Mega Gengar energy, which, yes, Mega Gengar is coming. And Shiny Mega Gengar is my absolute favorite. That, like, turns from purple to straight white. It looks like a legitimate old-school ghost. And that's definitely going to be something I'm going for. And last but not least, oh, I went away. Don't go away, go back. There is going to be the Go Battle League Halloween Cup from Monday, October 26th at 1 p.m. PDT to Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020 at 1 p.m. PDT. The Halloween Cup will be live in Go Battle League in this format. Only Poison, Bug, Ghost, Dark, and Fairy type Pokemon with 1500 CP or less will be allowed to participate. You can earn encounters with costume Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. That's pretty cool. I like the fact that Niantic is actually going to do a meta cup where you have to follow a certain type of Pokemon, a certain style and theme, and go along and actually show your actual PvP skill. I honestly have no idea if I have any Pokemon ready to participate in that, and with how laggy and horrible Go Battle League has been, I'm not the most excited for it, but I'm going to give it a try. I really, I'm going to give it a try. So with this event, we're getting a new shiny. Now it doesn't say if Galarian Yamask is going to be shiny. We know with the release of Yamask last year, we did get it shiny, but I don't know if they're going to do the same thing with Galarian Yamask. I also hunted like crazy during that Halloween event and didn't get the shiny Yamask and I haven't evolved its Pokedex entry either. So I kind of really need to do that, but 
I, I don't even know. I hope regular Yeah Mask is coming back, because if they're going to do Galarian, I assume they would do both. I don't know. But I'm hoping for shinies of both, and I'm hoping to get shinies of at least one of them, so I can evolve that and get the Pokedex entry. But this is a very, very awesome Halloween event. I'm very, very excited for it, and I do have a day planned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it now so you guys can make sure to follow along. We will be going to Disney Springs. I think it's going to be Monday, uh, Monday the 26th, because I don't want to go on a weekend. There's going to just be way too many people there. I figure if I go on a Monday, I can do my mask. I did call. They're doing temperature checks to make sure everybody there isn't at least symptomatic. You know, I know asymptomatic, but whatever. They're, they're checking as much as they can, and I'm going to be social distancing. I always have my mask. So on the 26th, we're going to go to Disney Springs. We're going to do a Halloween-themed, nice, shiny hunt and just have a whole day there, do raids, do tasks, all sorts of stuff. That's going to be really fun. But that is the gist of the Halloween update. Let me know down in the comments, how much do you love the Halloween event? Is it your favorite event? Do you prefer the Christmas event or just the little events throughout the year? Honestly, Halloween and Christmas, hands down, will always be my favorites besides like Go Fests and Safari Zones, but we can't, since we can't really do that, I am super obsessed with Christmas and Halloween, especially right now. Let me know what your favorite Pokemon coming to this is. Honestly, for me, I think it's a shiny spirit tomb. Costume shinies are cool and all, but they make them way too hard to get most times, and RNG is horrible. But Shiny Spirit Tomb is probably going to be the one I'm hunting for the hardest, and I'm very excited about that. But that is the wrap-up of the Halloween event, and now it is time to get into a couple of shiny evolutions, because I don't know when else I'm going to do them. I've got so much to do for the Halloween event. We're going to be moving again in a couple of weeks. So let's go ahead in here. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. So we got that shiny Vulpix. Here's the 618 that we traded for. The night before we got that 290 CP, we gotcha this 690 CP, which actually turned out to be a very beautiful three-star. So we're going to go evolve, yes, and get shiny Kanto Vulp or uh, Ninetales in Pokemon Go. This is one of my favorite shinies. I absolutely adore it and wait for it. There she is. Oh, such a beautiful shiny. I love this. Amazing, amazing. I love it. Now, this one, what will this max out at? 2201. So that's not the biggest. Nine Tails has never been the biggest or most meta relevant, but that shiny is just absolutely amazing. And we're also going to do Cleffa. So I've got this one that I hatched from some event. It's not the greatest. There's this one I got in the wild at GoFest in Vegas, but this one right here, it's essentially the best and it's a lucky, so it's going to cost me less to evolve. So we're going to go ahead and evolve this one on over to Clefairy and then get Shiny Clefable. And that's going to be it for today because it is wifey's birthday today and it is also her grandpa's birthday today. So we're going to go celebrate and hang out with family and there's Shiny Clefairy. But that's what we're going to do, and I have no idea what's going to be coming next or how frequent the videos are going to be this week. But I'm going to do what I can, and yes, let's evolve on over and get Shiny Clefable in Pokemon Go. This is so hype. I think this is the first time I've done two Shiny Evolutions in the same day, and there it is. I know it's not the biggest difference, but I, the green ears, they get me. I don't know why. But there is... Shiny Clefable, and this will max out at 2377. So it's not it's not the greatest, but it's still, you know, you can flex, have fun with it in Ultra League because it's cheap power up, it's a cheap second move set. But again, I don't want to drop below 16 million, so we're not gonna be doing any max outs today. But that is my update. Oh, I forgot one more update. So you guys know I run the ridiculous amounts of incense after community day. Well, I only ran one set this time to go to 11 a.m. because that's when we left Atlanta. In that time frame, that's when I got this. I got this Poochiana, I got the Vulpix, I got a Pineco, and another Vulpix. So we're up to four shiny Vulpix now. I don't know how many Poochiana and Pineco, but we have the shiny Ninetales, which let's go ahead and do 
plus Volp and Shiny. And there is our completed Kanto and Alolan family and 200k Shiny Vulpix, which that was the best Shiny catch ever. But that is going to wrap up my update video today for everybody. I just wanted to let you guys know we did make it back to Florida safe. We're going to be staying here with family for a couple of weeks doing some old school Florida adventures for those OGs out there. Let me know down in the comments, do you have any of the shiny evolutions I just did? How many of you beat me to shiny Sudowoodo and did it without having to trade for it? Let me know what you're thinking about the Halloween event and all of the October updates. I think it's going to be great. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash that like button for me. Hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell when you do. And check out the links for the merch and the Patreon down in the description if you want to help us with uh, the holidays and all that stuff coming up, the move and all that fun. And I will catch you guys in the next one.